Hey, what's going on today, YouTube? Back in town, so just want to share some of the things that I've been working on, and uh, today is just going to be an update video, so let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so just a couple of things. Um, the big one is the audiobook maker. I have added the F5 TTS engine and the Style TTS engine into here, so if you are into the audiobook maker or have purchased it or um, are using it, that you'll find it uh, to be of interest. So we go into here. Um, I have new instructions on all of this, but I will be making separate videos for how you can install the latest um, text to speech engines, or if you have the package version, how you can go about doing that. But if you are a member of the channel at the packages tier, or you did buy it, you can indeed download it now and it should work. You do just have to place some of the voices in specific areas, but other than that, it should be good to go. Now I'll just go into the audiobook maker real quick. So here we have it. Um, and if you do want to get it set up before those videos, um, inside of the voices folder, um, there will now be an F5 TTS folder inside of here. You just want to place speakers, um, with their names. So in this case, Melina, and then you want a text file. That is the transcription of the audio file here. So that's how you format F5 TTS. And then for style TTS, um, you just put in audio files into the speaker name folder. So that is that. And then if you do have the package version for style TTS, you just need to run this finish style TTS install .bat, and it'll install it and finish it up. So, um, one thing to note is if you use F5 TTS, the base models are, um, NC by N CC by NC, which means non-commercial. So those models will download on their own. And then you just have to abide by those, um, licenses if you choose to use them. Here we are inside of the audiobook maker. So I can select a text file, input text file, small text, and we got this. And you change the engine to F5 TTS. We got Melina here, model to use, default, tokenizer, default, vocos, and then use prediction model, slap that on there, and then I can start um, generation. So just rename this test, overwrite, yes. And if we go into here um we'll start getting some models downloading so that's what i was saying a little bit earlier and then it'll do inference on all of these sentences and i will be uh looking at some of these enhancements to add into the repository so if you have anything that you want to add uh, please leave an issue here and now I'll, I'll get around to adding an enhancement to it so on and so forth in other news um i got interested in making a gpt sovitz um inference package so if you don't know what gpt sovitz is is it's a, another zero shot model that can do pretty good voice cloning and this one i think it specializes very closely in like anime style of voices um, and is good in japanese and then it does well in english as well um, but very good in japanese as that's what i've tested it in and i have the package that i created here so with this one the way that i have this in mind is the um this package will be launched on a local server and then you can make requests to it to get audio back so this is my hope to um, try to make it a little bit easier to use in uh, some of my future projects so we'll see how that ends up going so I have some quick installation instructions and then um, pre-trained models so did some edits on that and I've actually got that um, let's see not here but here we go um i've actually got it running here so it's pretty easy to actually do that all you need to do is install the package then you run this gpt sovitz api um, script and then it'll launch the um let's say server that's running and it's going to be running at this url and then we can just use one of these test files to send some uh, requests to it and then play it back if um, we get a valid response. And so, so this one returns a full audio file or waits until the audio file is completed, then um, you can play that audio file or this one allows for streaming of that audio file for faster inference. So let me just now run this since it is running on this URL here, 9880 or this port. And then here we go, waiting for me to click enter. So I'll click enter and then we'll probably hear it shortly. So, um, no, oh, it's got to load the models first. 
つ俺はいいよねでもなんか対処法ではないよなこれ対処法ではないけどそもそもの話みたいなことを言ってんのか ?Okay, so、uh, there it is right there and、uh, we'll click on enter and then we'll probably get more accurate、uh, speed based on that since it's already loaded. So here we go. それはいいよねでもなんか対処法ではないよなこれ対処法ではないけどそもそもの話みたいなことを言ってんのか Alright, so there we go.、Um, in this case, I am using、uh, Japanese. And the cool thing about GPT s o v i t s is that it allows for,、um, I guess, non verbal features like laughter and、um, like hums. And I have to test around a little bit more on what else it can do, but it's, it's so far pretty good for that. And the speed is,、um, is, is pretty fast. I would say the reason that it's not going as fast right now is because in the background, I have、um, F5 TTS training right now. And so, yeah,、um, I've been training that F5 TTS, which I actually, I'll cover that after this. But yeah, this, this API does indeed work. And if anyone is interested out there, Uh, you can go and try this package out. Now, I got interested in this because this guy right here、uh, popped up in my feed and he's making an AI waifu. So,、um, he used GPT s o v i t s in his latest video. So, this might help a little bit.、Um, but yeah, it kind of branches off of what I was doing before, which was my AI VTuber, Vivi. And I might come back to that、uh, sometime in the future, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe. But. That's it for GPT s o v i t s And then I guess I did want to talk one more thing about F5 TTS. So I have a Japanese model that I am training and I have shared it. So、um, if you actually go into the fork of F5 TTS and you go into source, F5 TTS infer,、um, you can find this README right here. And then you can go to the shared.markdown file and you can find shared models here. So Um, my Japanese model is in here right now, which is located at this location. So if we just click on checkpoint and vocab, it'll open up my F5 TTS Hugging Face page where you can download these models. So, how you can use these,、uh, I won't go over unfortunately in this video, but、uh, yeah, if you, can, you can download these and use them um, with um, F5 TTS, and it can speak Japanese pretty well. In this, in this uh, version, um, I did end up restarting training for F5 TTS, um, because I needed to because my learning rate reached almost zero, so it's still currently training right now and it's been going for about two weeks. So, yeah, that's my Japanese model for F5 TTS. If you guys are interested in using it, um, so go check that out if uh, if that interests you. And then, yeah, that is going to be pretty much it for my updates in、uh, this video.、Um, yeah, like I said,、um, I need to come up with a video for the new engines for the audiobook maker. So that's going to be on my priority list. And then, as well, for the audiobook maker,、um, when I do go to version 4, I will be increasing the price of it. I'm not exactly sure what I'll be increasing it to,、um, but members of the channel at that point will get、like、a coupon code off of it, and then I'll be offering it on my Buy Me a Coffee page where you can buy it. So, currently gathering what features I want to build into for V4. And if you have V3 right now, you will get upgraded to V4 for free. So, that's just something to keep in mind. But, That's gonna be it for today's video. Once again, I'd like to thank all of my members for supporting me. And、um, yeah, just thank you guys for interacting with me. Very much appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later.